Uh, for the last six months, I've been participating in an environmental project called One to Life. So we have lived in this house and doing our best to get down to one ton. And we reached 1.5 tons in the end, which I am really happy about. Our behavior had, had to change in a number of ways. First, we had to learn to use the smart technology. And then it was up to our daily habits. Commute differently, eat differently, uh, do different things on our spare time. Family has, in six months, managed to go from 7 ton down to 1.5 ton, which is really amazing. We didn't think they would be able to really get that far. Although we set the goal for 1 ton, we thought it, this would be difficult, but they were almost there. So it's a very impressive result. I think the family found that within uh, the house, they were in control, uh, like for cooking and so on. But once going, uh, going outside, going to restaurants, they were in the hands of the chef in the restaurant and what choices he, he, he was making. And that made it difficult for them to control and actually, you know, stay within the goals of, of, of the product they've set up. So external factors were, were a real, real challenge for them. Whatever you think is tough in Europe could be done further if you look at this project because it really shows that it's able for us to both reduce emissions to almost zero, energy use almost to zero and still have a very good life. And it's already with exist existing technology. What we're going to miss most, maybe, it might seem a bit futile, but I think the electric car. <laughs> Friends have enjoyed it very much. They wanted to go the car, maybe test drive the car. So, so the car has uh, uh, gotten a lot of attention. We have seen that the uh, uh, electric car fits into the life of a modern family. And it meets the, uh, the transport needs, the technology works, and we can really see this is a solid uh, base for the future. The family is positively surprised that the car has fit so nicely into the, and so easily into their everyday life. And the driving range of 120 to 150 kilometers has not been perceived at all to be any restriction. They have just planned for it and it has met uh, literally all their transport needs. At the end of the project we feel very happy that we have come close to the one ton goal and we have learned a lot. A lot of learnings that we can bring to our uh, normal life as well. So we're definitely going to be more climate smart. We're going to commute smarter, eat smarter and consume smarter in the years to come. I think we will take lots with us from this project. I mean, we have lived in it for so long, so some knowledge I think will stay with us and the behavior that we have and the thought that we will always think about environment, well, definitely that we will think before we make a choice and think once or twice maybe before we do something.